Okay. Okay. Later on in the DVD series, you see us doing another type of a lung revival. And this confuses people uh, in the beginning because they thought that this was our lung revival. And yes, this is. Okay, as a matter of fact, um, this we used quite a bit in the beginning. But we developed more immediate needs and therefore we needed a, a stronger recipe. By the way, before we go on, I do want to mention that we, we said that this works for hiccups. But this is also invaluable for any kind of sports. Uh, soccer players, basketball, volleyball, whatever sport you're in, athletes invariably so at some point in their career get a stitch in their side. The stitch in their side is because the heavy breathing causes the diaphragm just to spasm or to, to cramp. Okay, and this healing recipe for the hiccups also relieves the stitch in the side that people commonly have, even children in the playground from running too much. All right, so again, these recipes can go in many different areas. Now, the recipe that I'm going to work with uh, Zavi right now is in two pressure points at the, called Spleen 17. Now, just like we were mentioning with the hiccups, okay, the hiccups on the newborn baby is very difficult here because maybe the father or the mother's thumb is too large to get between the muscles. Maybe the baby's nervous system isn't as developed as to have that nerve that, uh, that is sensitive. Okay? But what we found to relieve hiccups okay, is this intermediate lung revival worked very well. On a newborn baby, because of theirs, they're so small, sometimes you can just rub their chest outward and that will also calm the diaphragm or the hiccups. Also, sometimes a little coughing. If the you see the baby really having some trouble with the, the chest or the abdomen distending, you can calm it just by pressing down on these points. Before we go into the technique, the pressure point is right at the base of the breast line, right underneath the breast line, over to a 45 degree angle. Now you have to push the nerve up and in at a 45 degree angle. If you could sit on the ground for a second. The way we do this, if we have a person that's uh, had a severe problem with their breathing from the diaphragm attack, what we do is we stretch out the rib cage and place their palms flat onto the floor. That stretches out the ribs. At that point, I want to strike both the points simultaneously up and in at a 45 degree angle like I'm coming in toward the lungs, <coughs> which makes the diaphragm <coughs> spasm. Okay? Now that, since he was breathing normal, had an adverse effect. Okay? Now, I'm very sorry in advance. Okay, what we're gonna show is I'm gonna show a technique that you will see on a prior DVD. And what it does is it's a, um, a harsh technique. It's a hand posture technique out of the 6G hands. Um, but what it does is it arrests the person's breathing. So you'll see a real need for the breathing technique and then you'll see it done in real action. So the technique, <laughs> You can see that just by doing that one technique, you okay? Yes. Okay. Arrested his breath. Now he was coughing. But what was happening, if you listen carefully back to the tape, you'll hear the air come out of his lungs, but nothing was coming back in. All right? So for some reason, it was cough, the diaphragm was spasming or expanding in such a way that it was pushing air out in the cough, but it wasn't coming back in as easily. So what I did was I struck those two points to allow the diaphragm to relax. Okay, which again got him in a normal state of breathing. Okay, that's the value of this, and this is why we found this technique out of more urgent need. 